Hey YouTube, this is my homemade hydraulic press. I've got an 8 ton Harbor Freight bottle jack. Uh, it's meant as a bench top press rather than a floor press because I like to be able to move around pretty easily. It weighs about 60 pounds, I think. Um, the main vertical members are these 1 and 3 eighths by quarter wall tube, and they're threaded for a 1 inch 14 bolt on each end, and that holds it together just like tie rods of a hydraulic cylinder. Uh, the top beam is a 4x4x516 four by four by angle, and I also welded that 2-inch uh, flat bar on the back just to serve as a place to, to store tools and pressing attachments. Uh, the base is mostly a 8-inch by 11.5 pound per foot channel, which is about 2 inch tall. And I also welded a 3 16 plate on the bottom for extra strength and some 8 inch plate on each side for uh, just to close it up, make it look more like a box. On the bottom we've got some rubber feet and that gives it some more stability on uneven surfaces. Uh, I didn't like how most presses had uh, tension springs pulling the jack back after it's uh, extended. So I put these compression springs on there. Looks a, look, looks a lot neater. And we've got this uh, lead screw attachment. It just screws on to the, uh, the bottom of the jack here. And it has about five inches of travel. That's a one inch eight Acme thread. Uh, you can also take the whole thing off and put just a regular stub nose ram on there for when you're pushing longer shafts or brooches or that kind of thing. I made this aluminum knob because it's a lot easier to turn this than having to stick the jack handle back on that, that little that little knob on the jack, the release valve. Um, just slides up and down on these steel bushings. It's pretty simple. Oh yeah. There's an arbor plate, a plate that laser cut. It fits half inch, inch, inch and a half, and two inch holes. And we've got a two inch cross hole all the way through for when you're pushing longer shafts or brooches, that kind of thing. Um, overall, it's about 30 inches tall. Uh, the center distance between these tubes is 10 inches, so we got about eight and a half between these springs in the bottom. And I think I already said this is eight inches and 12 inches wide overall. Just have the stock handle here, nothing special. Let me tighten up the knob. Straightforward. Release the knob and it returns slowly. <laughs> Alright, I think that's all there is to say about that. Thanks for watching.